Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again where we are starting the graveyard project pan. This was created by Emily. I will have her link down below. You guys know I love Emily. She also created the deck of panning project pan and she overall is just amazing at creating projects. And I want to say this is the fourth, it's either the third or fourth year that we're doing graveyard project pan. And um, if you're new to Graveyard Project Pan, there are two separate panning categories within this project. You can really choose any amount of products that you want to work, any amount of products that you want to work on. I have selected six to work on, three in each category, and it is rolling style and it ends on Halloween, October 31st. We do buy monthly so every other month updates um and that's really it so the two categories i'm like Aah. the two categories within this project are collecting cobwebs which are older products in your makeup collection maybe they're collecting cobwebs they haven't been collecting or they have been collecting dust you haven't reached for them or used them in a while they just need to go and then the second category is the resurrection category in this category you select products that you are resurrecting from other projects these are products that you wanted to finish off or hit a different goal in another project and you just didn't end up either finishing that product up or um, hitting your goal. So I have three products within each category to share with you. This is one of my favorite projects every year and I look forward to it every year. There's one product, two maybe, that I've had in this project for all the years that we have been doing this. So if you're interested in seeing what products I've selected to start this project out with, stay tuned. First, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, we're gonna kick it off with the three products that I've selected for the collecting cobwebs uh, part of this project. Some of these may have been like random roll-ins at an end of a project too. Like I feel like I've worked on a couple of these in projects as well. But I was too lazy to go back and actually like confirm whether or not these have been in any project. I've done so many projects throughout the course of my channel's lifetime that I'm like, Ugh, these are also just old in my collection. Would like to finish them up. Can you see my little um, unicorn back here? Um, she just woke up. So she, so you want to say hi? We are going to be going to the arcade after this and she is very excited. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are gonna start out with the collecting cobwebs category. Like I said, I have three products here. Some of these may have been in projects of mine, but I've done so many projects and some of them like rolling style that I was too lazy to go confirm whether or not these have actually been in projects. But let's start out with my NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Madeline. I've had this, or Madeline, I've had this in my collection for quite some time. I took this stopper out and this got very messy. And I feel like after I took the stopper out and this got so messy is when I kind of like put this product away because it was just simply like too messy and such a hassle to reach for it but I would really like to finish this off you guys know the last like year year and a half I have been heavily focused on my lip categories just trying to work my way through lip products and I would like to work another gloss out of my collection I feel like with a little bit of effort like there's probably still a good amount of product left in this but with a little bit of effort I could finish this in a couple of months just because again I have already gone through quite a bit of this I had taken the stopper out for a reason um, also my Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I feel like I've unofficially been trying to pan this for like two years at this point. This is one of my oldest foundations in my collection. We're making like, I have pretty good progress on this, but this was 1.7 fluid ounces of product as opposed to one fluid ounce of like your standard foundation. So I've been working on this for quite some time. It is a deeper shade, so it matches me better in the summertime. It is more mattifying and is more full coverage, but I do also like to mix this with um, like tinted moisturizers just to like thin out the product a little bit. So I feel like I have not had the just correct amount of motivation to actually finish this up and I would I would like to do that this year. So I thought this would be a great project to kind of give me an extra boost of motivation to finish that up. And then my Laura Geller highlighting palette I've had for so long. This is one of my oldest face palettes as well as like my old some of my oldest highlighters. So I feel like I'm very close to pan on both Peach Glow and Gilded Honey. I would realistically love to hit pan, and this is a baked product, so I'm not necessarily sure what the pans are gonna look like. I would love to hit pan on all three of these. Like, I feel like that would be such an accomplishment, and I feel like I could use Ballerina. I like to mix Ballerina with 
peach glow to kind of neutralize it. I could also mix this with my Vesca highlighter, which I always love using to like neutralize highlights, or I could just use this as an all over shimmer shade on the eyelids. So my goal is going to be to hit pan on all three of these. I know that's quite the task, but I wanted to give myself a challenging goal. And then for the three products in the resurrection category, I feel like this has been in every round of my Graveyard Project Panda as well. This was from a Smashbox blush trio, and this is the only shade I really enjoyed using or reaching for, so I ended up uh, depotting it, or I just like took the one shade out. Um, there it is swatched on my finger, and here it is swatched on my hand. It's just a really beautiful, like sheeny, very light, um, flush of color and it's um, like a really beautiful like peachy pink glow I love this for the summertime and I feel like I mean I have a good dip going in this my goal is just gonna be hit to hit pan on this this is also something I could include in a reservoir in our collecting cobwebs just because it's so old in my collection I believe that blush, blush palette was the first blush slash like face palette i purchased when i was really getting into makeup it was probably that smashbox blush palette and then this right after that but my goal is going to be to hit pan on this i'm hoping i have pan on this by the first update but we'll see also my dose of colors by the way i have worked on this in my 18 and 2018 project and for sure two if not three graveyard project pans and possibly other projects as well like this is this is i've worked on. there was a whole collection project pan for sure that this was rolled into it's I've used it a lot. It's been in quite, it's frequent, it's a frequent flyer in my projects. Um, next up, I have this Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade A Mob Story. I believe this is one of the shades that was in collaboration with Desi and Katie. I worked on this, I think, in my 19 in 2019 project or 20 in 2020, one of my year long project pans. I wanted to finish it up. I didn't finish it up. It is like the packaging is opaque, so I can't see through it. It does feel pretty light. Um, but I still feel like a lot of product is like on the doe foot as I pull it out. I haven't taken the stopper out by any means. It does look very mobby swatched, but on the lips, I feel like it's like the perfect, like your lips, but better sort of shade. And I have been wearing just like lip products more than just lip gloss more often because I am working, um, a job where I'm like wearing like more lip product i guess if you will before i was like not i was only really wearing gloss now i'm like kind of want to wear like lipstick or i've been really enjoying liquid lipsticks again so my goal is going to be to finish this off again that's a very tall task i don't necessarily know that i'll accomplish that although i should say i will believe in myself because you're only capable of what you believe in right so i'm gonna finish this off by the end of the project but i do think that will probably be in until the finale and then it's time to actually finish this product off. This was going in my 18 and 2018, I think, also possibly my 19 and 2019, 20 and 2020, and every single round of the Graveyard Project Pan. This is my, hold on, this is the last product. This is my favorite lipstick, lip formula, and lip shade in my entire collection. It's the Tarte Color Splash in Tarte Rum Punch. Here it is swatched right here. This is how much product we have left. I don't know why I haven't finished this off yet. I love this. I bring this with me all of the time. It's like always in my purse. I'm always applying it, but I just have not finished it off. This is 100% something that when I finish this, I will repurchase, which might be a reason I haven't finished it yet. There are, there are other Tarte color splashes in my collection that like I want to finish but won't repurchase, but this has literally been my favorite lipstick for years at this point. Would love to just do this the honor and actually finish this up but those are these six products i am going to but those are these six products i'm going to be starting off my graveyard project pan with if you are doing this project whether it be on instagram youtube um or just like doing it not on any sort of social media platform let me know how it's going in the comments below i cannot wait to binge watch everyone else's videos thank you guys so much for sticking around to support my channel support today's video i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next video bye